हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो हेल्प यू टू रन द लाइसेंस मैनेजर मैनुअली इफ यू इंस्टॉल मैट लैब एंड यू नीड टू बी रन द लाइसेंस मैनुअली देन दिस कंप्लीट वीडियो हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू रन the license server manually first you browse and uh, select the c drive select the c drive where you had installed your matlab this matlab is normally installed in program files in program files you need to be select the directory where you had installed a particular version as i had installed the 2016 version that's why i am selecting the particular folder from here you need to be select etc folder and in etc there is a bin folder along with your file systems it may be a 32 or 64 bit so you need to be select the folder respected folder from this you need to be select lmtools.exe when you click on to this uh, user control window will open just click on to yes you can see the lms tool start executing from here you just change the tab configure services configure service service you can see this window and uh, in this window you need to be select the service from this drop down the name of Serv service so you can select the name of this service after selecting this name you need to be change the path set the path for file lmgrd.exe you just click on to the browse button in respected and from here you just change the directory where your lmgrd dot exe application is located mostly this is located in the same path from where you execute lms tool just select the particular file and click on to the open you are able to be view कि दिस पर्टिकुलर पाथ इज कन्फिगर्ड नो यू नीड टू बी ब्राउज द लाइसेंस वेर यूर लाइसेंस फाइल इज लोकेटेड दिस मोस्टली दिस लाइसेंस फाइल इज लोकेटेड इन यूर सेम फोल्डर जस्ट इन ई टी सी you just change the extension to dat the license may be in dot lic or dot dat as in my case the license is dot dat that's why i had changed the extension to dot dat and uh, from here you select the license click on to the open to so means you again set the path for your server now the last one is you need to be select the path for your log file you can create any text file and this text file saves the log for your server in my case i had created lm log file a text file and i keep the path for the same one after doing this you just click on to the save service button yes on pressing this 
and pressing this your services get saved now this window is ready now you need to be start your service you just the tab from this configuration services to start stop and reload service you can see this this window in this window there is a button start server click on to start in this tab you can see a button start server just click on to the start server button when you click on to the start server you can see the status bar the status bar shows starting server so it means whatever be the server you had configured that start executing you can wait and uh, right now you can see your services get started and that is shown there inside and the log is written into the log file you can check the status of your license server whether it is started or not just change the tab from this start server to server status here a button perform status inquiry just click on to perform status inquiry button and wait the status is shown in this frame whether your server service is started or not hope you are able to be see the status bar keep on changing and it shows that your license which is located in this location is started <laughs> the same can be check just click on to your status bar of window from here you select the task manager and from this task manager you can see the process this lm tools utility start executing so this means your server start executing the same can be assured from the service itself you just click on to the name so that your services are arranged alphabetically just press l and you can see the same service is also included there in the service tab now if you want to be make it permanent so that it will ex start executing automatically so you just comes back to this window lms tool window here you can see the status right now your server start executing and the complete history is there when this particular server start it shows the time along with the date if you want to be make it a permanent so that you need not to be executed again and again just go to the same window configuration service window tab and here uh checkbox use service you just click on to this use service and also select the start server at power up just click on to save service window so it means when you start your pc this server start executing automatically next time that's all for executing the license for your matlab manually hope it is helpful for you thanks bye bye